Hey there, it's Quinn Stacy, and welcome to episode 15 of Stormy Haven. So, as you can see, I did some more work on the fountain. It went through a couple of revisions, but I, I'm liking it like this. And then I put in the water above. Um, I don't have any fish in there yet. And then this is going to be like a secret little path back here. So I have a couple of fish. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put those in. Yeah, I have a jellyfish. I want to see what a jellyfish will look like up here. And unfortunately, I have not found another shark egg. I got like 38 shark teeth and not a single egg. Um, so let's see, what should I name? Oh, I know. So the show Princess Jellyfish, the the show Princess Jellyfish, the jellyfish in that show, the character named it Clara. So I think I'm gonna name this fish Clara, or this jellyfish Clara. So now I have a Clara. So now I want to go down and see what it looks like from above. I'm going to have to make a better way to get to the top because this is a little awkward and I, I will need to put fish in there from time, to, from time to time. So let's see. Well, oh, she kind of glows in the dark. I heard that they were supposed to, but I couldn't really see it. It's, I don't know if it needs to be darker to be able to see it better. But let's see, I'm, there's a torch up here. I'm going to take it down and see if it looks like she's glowing a little more. I don't know, can mobs spawn on glass? Possibly. Probably. So I probably will have to put it back or put some way to, or maybe like cover it so that there's no space. Wait, I missed a torch. What? I guess I've been torching this place like crazy. Because I don't want any monsters in here. Let me have the torch. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> I'm seeing things sometimes. Okay. I got it. Let's go down and see what it looks like. Uh, looks the same. So I guess I should put that torch back so that I don't get monsters. At least until I finish the ceiling. I wonder if I put a color up there if it'll make it more visible. Or like Tempo says, if I have ice here. I have to find out how far away the light can be before the ice melts. Which reminds me... Whoa. We could go get ice. Or try to find ice. Okay, here it goes. Let's put these torches back. We don't want any monsters. No ogres or rats or anything unpleasant spawning up here, please. Can you even... Yeah, you can put a torch on glass. Yeah. That won't be necessary later. I, I like a torchless environment at some point. But it takes time to get enough lighting in and find clever ways to hide lighting. So I had wanted to um, start on my house because I, I want this area to connect underground to my house. And that's kind of hard to do if I don't know where my house is going to be. So there's going to be a section of animals somewhere over here. And so I'm going to go outside and show you what I have in mind for my house. It's a little scary right now because it was nighttime and mobs spawned. So there's a few mobs out and about. Like this creeper. No, you will not make a hole. How dare you even think about it. Is that a duck? Yeah. Okay, so there is this peculiar thing that I do. I like the look of 
like the natural environment. So when I chop down the trees, I leave a stump where the tree was. And then I kind of like wanted to see the area without the trees. So I leave a stump and then if I'm gonna build there, I take the stumps down. But then if I'm, I decide I'm not gonna build there, then I know where all the trees were and then I replant them exactly where they were. I know it's a little weird, but I just like to do that. And so I've been on servers before and people are like, uh, why are there stumps everywhere? I always make a funny voice when I imitate somebody. So this is the area that I'm gonna build my house and it's gonna be, it's gonna have two stories here and then it's gonna have a sort of a basement that comes into this side here with an opening that um, will kind of have a boat dock. So I kinda, I'm still working out the design for it. There's still some details to work out, but I kinda have the general concept. So I wanted to get the basic like foundation laid. I'm gonna stick a chest here so that I can kind of start like working out the placement. Usually I sort of build things in in like another map in creative to get the design done, but it's kind of hard when part of it involves the landscape. So I have torches where I was sort of mapping things out. So it's going to have, let's see, where's my shovel? It's going to have sort of like in the face of the wall, the basement is going to be here. Let's see how many levels is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think I'm going to make the floors double where the one level is a ceiling and one level is a floor. It makes it easier design wise if you want to use different blocks instead of just like carpet and then you don't you want a different ceiling below it. So I guess this is going to be kind of where um, this is going to go. So I'm going to build part of this and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got the basic idea laid in. So it's going to have sort of like, I want a cabin feel for the top portion of it. So it'll be like a house sitting on top of a boat port. And I'll probably play around with the stone a little bit. I like to kind of like mix up the materials, um, but I'm not sure I quite like this. I keep drifting <laughs> the wrong way. But that's the start of it. At least like with this, I kind of have an idea where it's going to go. And then I'm going to have to dig out the underneath of this area. And then I'm going to have to build a boat that'll fit in there. I guess it's good to know the size that I have to work with before I build it. But I should probably have a good sized boat in there. It's a pretty big dock. Or I don't know what you call that. Boathouse something? It's going to be a boathouse. A boathouse slash cabin. So that's the, that's the gist of it. Oh my god, who killed me? What? That was really, really weird. I died in a boat after hitting a raccoon. Oh man. So worse trying to get your stuff in water. Because it could, like, be anywhere. And I had pretty much all my diamond tools on me. Yikes. That was weird. And now I'm going to die because I'm drowning. What? 
Okay, I got a sword back. Maybe I should try not to drown. Make sure there's no goats around here, because I had both my diamond picks on me. I had my silk touch pick, which I've only... Oh my god, it's going to get dark now. Okay, there's a the silk touch. The other pick needs to be somewhere. Okay, so after that brief death intermission, death by boat and raccoon. I, I don't know. That was really weird. I just like spontaneously died. So yeah, this is the start <laughs> of my boat cabin slash house. Oy. Okay, so I'll be working on that um, since I'll be working on that since um, it takes me a bit to play around with the design. Like, I actually built this multiple times because I didn't like the proportions, so then I had to move things over, tear it down. So it takes me a bit to figure it out when I don't already have a design worked out. Um, so I'll probably do a lot of this off camera because I can't talk and build when I don't have the design already worked out. But that's the gist of it. That's the start of it. At least I've got a good start. So that's it for today. I hope you all had a great day and till next time. Bye.